I want a cure uh, for, for me. And, uh, you know, if it, if it helps other people, that's even better. New at five, new hope for cancer patients. A San Diego man is the first in the world to try a revolutionary treatment. It was developed here and it took decades to be ready for this first test. 10 News reporter Amanda Brandeis went to UC San Diego to find out why this could be a game changer. Where was that? After moving to San Diego almost three years ago, Derek and Terry Ruff are on a mission to experience everything the city has to offer. Yes, we are, and it's just fantastic. I hardly leave the county. And for nine years, Derek's battle with colon cancer was in the rearview mirror. I didn't have any symptoms for years until uh, last May, whenever I came in for a checkup, and uh, they discovered cancer again. So again, Life was put on hold. Derek underwent three months of aggressive chemotherapy, but he got worse instead of better. It's a lot, you know, it's, uh, it's a tough diagnosis. Okay, breath, please. Derek's journey led him to the Moore's Cancer Center at UC San Diego Health. He was a candidate for a new cancer treatment involving stem cells. These are patients who don't have a lot of good options in terms of chemotherapy or immunotherapy. Dr. Sandy Patel is leading the trial at UCSD. Decades of research on natural killer cells have culminated in the new cancer treatment being developed by San Diego-based Fate Therapeutics. Fate is the first to mass produce cancer killing cells from a type of stem cell called a human-induced pluripotent stem cell. Utilizing the stem cells that are within us, within our blood factory, within our bone marrow, to create a master bank of cells that we can utilize to program in different ways to fight cancer. The cancer killing cells are being given to clinical trial patients as a drug. Being the first is exciting, but it's, it, it, it was less so than, you know, hearing that, you know, you got stage four cancer and you're, you know, you don't have much of a future. And now it, I feel hopeful again, so. Hopeful for more milestones and adventures. Amanda Brandeis, 10 News. And we hope the best for him. Ruff started treatment in February, but it is too early to tell how successful it has been. The clinical trial is still enrolling patients. You can contact Moore's Cancer Center to learn more.